we are reminded about how Amanda Ripley ends up floating in space after the events of Alien Isolation. After three days, Amanda is found and brought aboard Mendel Station, where the events of Alien Blackout take place. But we are now jumping ahead three years. Amanda, who is constantly silenced by Weyland Yutani from revealing what she knows, is out hiking and is picked up by old friend and ex-marine Zula Hendricks, who we followed in Alien's Defiance. She brings Amanda back to her apartment and introduces her to Davis One, whose artificial conscience has been installed into a terminal after she managed to retrieve his chip from diving down to his remains in the sunken Europa ship. Azula reveals the company has managed to acquire xenomorph specimens and intends to use them in a bioweapons program. They band together against the company. Amanda, posing as an engineer, infiltrates a Wayland Dutani tower to retrieve data and find the location of the company's testing facility. Several advanced model Franklin drones spot her and find her suspicious, and one notices her earpiece that she's been using to communicate with Davis. Azula flies in with her ship, the Celestial, and launches a missile at the tower. Amanda manages to shield herself from the blast with one of the drones, and then jumps off the tower onto the ship, but she is grazed by a bullet shot at her which is infused with xenomorph blood. Zula uses recently launched colonist ship the Gasper as cover to escape from the company's radar, and they are off to the testing facility. Unfortunately, three xenomorphs bury themselves into the Gasper. Nine days later the ship arrives at its destination. Zula wakes Amanda, who, understandably, has been suffering from bad dreams. Zula notes the Gasper is also nearby, so it too must have been heading towards the testing facility black site the whole time. Davis scans the ship and finds no life forms, also noting that the passenger manifest has been erased and the ship reclassified as a resupply only. The Gasper's colonists arrive at the testing facility and are in orange jumpsuits with hoods over their heads, drones holding them at gunpoint. They are forced to take off their masks and breathe in a gas that is released into the room. Amanda and Zula, well, Davis too loaded into Zula's gun, board the empty Gasper and the pair have to don pressure suits. Eventually they come across a drone carrying a crate and it tries to run to sound an alarm. Amanda tries to stop it and a tussle ensues and the drone almost smashes through her helmet before Zula shoots it, ending the struggle. They realise the colonists are going to be sent back aboard the Gasper and Davis discovers the black site is rigged with a nuclear failsafe which they decide to try and hijack. Amanda tries to rewire the bomb with Davis's chip inside but a group of synthetics find them and open fire. Zula is shot in the arm and sent into space. Amanda bravely follows her, but then Zula realises Davis is still inside the bomb system. She tries to call out to him, but there's no response. Amanda and Zula, as well as the Gasper ship, are thrown into the planet's orbit. Just in time, Amanda activates the suit's emergency landing hex capsule, which surrounds them with enough protection, partly thanks to the planet's dense troposphere, to survive the fall. They explore the now empty ship that also made it to the surface. It becomes apparent the colonists were forced out of it. The Black Site uses them for alien bioweapons trials. Their fate is horrific. A young colonist tries to run for safety as Xenos chase him and luckily finds Amanda and Zula, who duly take them all out. Still afraid, the boy continues to run away from the two. For his sake, hopefully they find him again another time. Then the two spot some more Franklins. Zula shoots at one, but it just rebounds and the drone pays no attention to them, so they wisely leave them to it. That night, Davis talks to them via microtransmitter in Zula's hair clip. He explains how they survived entering the atmosphere, and that the unique climate is perfect for Wayland Dutani, as it is a cloak against external probes, keeping their activity secret. He further reveals the colonists are all tagged. It helps them collect data, but the tags are also a lure for the xenomorphs on the planet. He instructs them to get a tag and bring it to the Celestial, thus having evidence against the company. After they have returned to the Celestial, Davis plans to activate the Black Site's nuclear failsafe that he is still inhabiting. Ah! 
Azula and Amanda explore the jungle and detect a heartbeat in the trees. The young colonist, called Alec Brand, they met earlier, ambushes them and attacks Amanda with a large rock. Luckily, she restrains him and explains they are trying to help him get off the planet, so he joins their cause. The tag inside the boy is crucial as evidence to trying to take down the company, and they just need to get him onto the Celestial, which is currently safe and undetected. Davis, still inhabiting the nuclear failsafe on the black site, contacts them to let them know that he has been discovered and is under attack, so there's no time to spare. The three make a run for it to the extraction point, battling against Xenomorphs who are after their final target. An entire horde of them scramble towards them in plain daylight, and Amanda and Zula try to pick them all off, but there is only so long they can withstand the onslaught. Davis lands the Celestial, and Brand manages to climb aboard as Zula and Amanda cover his escape. Davis tells him to get strapped in, as he's going to need to go to escape velocity very quickly, leaving the two behind. There's just no time left to ensure he, and the evidence inside of him, makes it out of there. Zula and Amanda are almost out of ammo and are fairly certain of their fate. Davis launches the Celestial and then detonates the nuclear failsafe. A blinding flash of light sweeps through the atmosphere, killing all the Xenomorphs, and then quickly reaches the pair, who, at the very last second, embrace and activate the Hex Capsule in an attempt to somehow survive. Whether they do or not, is to be continued. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome! Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe! Laters, haters!